Hey, and welcome to another video. So today we're gonna be covering the best free Mac VST plugin for OBS. That's a mouthful. You might have uh, you might have heard that good audio is really important for a good stream. In fact, uh, many say it's the most important thing to a good stream. So one thing you might be searching for is you need to get some EQ on that mic so that that you sound good. You need to sound good. So what we're going to be covering today is what I feel is the best Mac plugin or VST for OBS. And we're going to cover installation of this plugin and also a bit of the configuration. By the way, I stream on Twitch Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and I like to play a variety of games and focus on mindfulness content and how it relates to gaming. I also do art and design, so if that sounds of interest to you, check out the links below in the description. And be sure to like and subscribe. Both actions are free and it really helps the channel out. So you've heard that audio is really important to a streamer and you're looking to level up and make your audio quality just that much better. Your viewers are gonna thank you for it. Let's get in and dive into how to do this. So I've spent some time researching the best audio plugins or VSTs that are compatible with Mac and you can use for streaming or changing your mic quality to sometimes reduce the muddiness or brighten it up or just have a, a nicer ambiance than just the default settings on the mic. I've found there's not a lot of free Mac VST plugins for OBS. Uh, I've tried several of them and some of them are lacking in features and some of them are quite capable and some crash your computer. Let's get into it right now. So the first one I'd like to talk about is Blue Cat's Triple EQ. I really like this EQ. Unfortunately, it had to go because the free version only allows you to edit a couple bands. Next we have TDR Slick, and I really like this EQ, but it has one shortcoming, and that's that it only has three bands that can be editable. One thing I really appreciated about this plugin was that the bands are adjustable, so you're not locked into a certain frequency to edit, and that's really cool. However, it's only three, and I needed to edit more than three bands for my EQ. Therefore, this one had to go. So we got TDR Nova, and TDR Nova is actually really good, and I wish I could use it, but the problem I face is that it crashes OBS. If I have this installed and I try to change scene collections, OBS crashes, and I've been working with stream elements uh, for OBS Live, and I've also reached out to the OBS project devs, and I just couldn't get anywhere with this plugin. Next is IKJB Lufticus. I think I got that right. Lufticus is an amazing EQ. Unfortunately, I passed on this one because it locks you into the bands. You have about five adjustment knobs that you can do, and they're all locked into a certain range and frequency. Therefore, I had to pass on this one because I needed to edit frequencies for my voice that weren't in the EQ range. Otherwise, Lufticus is a really nice EQ and it might be your EQ if your vocal range fits what you're editing in this plugin. And next we have Melda Productions M Equalizer. That's actually harder to say than you think. M Equalizer is an awesome EQ. Unfortunately, it's a little bit cumbersome to use. I was struggling a little bit when I was trying to get the exact levels that I wanted to get. I just ended up passing on it because of how complicated it was to navigate. So lastly, we have Vox & Go Marvel GEQ. And I personally feel that this is the best EQ for Mac on OBS. It has a lot of different sliders and I really appreciate all the ranges that you get and it's just really easy 
to understand how to use this. It might be lacking a little bit in the features department of some of the other complicated EQs, but honestly, the ease of use I really valued here. And I felt like all the different ranges that we're able to edit are really good and the ones that I need to control. Next, we're going to cover installation, but before we do, make sure you close OBS so you can avoid any issues. All right, so let's download and get to installation. We just need to search for Vox and Go, GEQ. There we go. And go ahead and click that first link. And now what we're going to do is we're going to right up top, right up here is the download AU AAX for Mac and the download VST VST3 for Mac. Technically, I believe you only need the VST file. However, I grab the VST3 and the component files when doing installs. Go ahead and click both of those links, get those downloaded, and once they're downloaded, go ahead and bring up the downloads folder with these two packages. What we're gonna do is we're gonna double click these packages to open them and they're going to open up these really easy and nice installation folders. What we're going to do is with the AUAAX, we're going to drag this Marvel GEQ component right into the components and we're going to add it. We're going to have to do some security uh, to make sure we can install it because these are secure folders. So go ahead and type in your password. I'm not going to do this action because I ever already have it installed. But go ahead and do that. And then once you have that done, go ahead and drag the VST3 in the other installation package over to the VST3 folder, and then also drag in the VST into the regular VST folder. Now, one thing I wanna let you know as kind of a helpful hint, is these folders are really helpful. The VST, VST3, and the VS, or the components folder. Why are these helpful? Because it's actually a pretty complicated location where these get installed. For instance, if I open it up, it's library audio plugins, VST. If you wanna go ahead and save these folders, there's basically aliases. If you wanna save those aliases somewhere on your computer, if you ever need to uninstall VSTs or components, you have a really easy way to get back to the location where these things install. All right, now we're gonna open up OBS and get to configuration. So one thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to bring up the filters on your mic. Go ahead and right click the cog, and bring up filters. Now, I already have the EQ enabled, but what you do is you hit the plus and you add VST 2.x plugin. And then you're gonna name it whatever you wanna name it, like EQ, maybe you wanna call it Vox. And now we're gonna select the plugin that we're gonna be using. It's the Marvel GEQ. Next, we're going to open the plugin interface. What you're gonna see is this, all these sliders in the plugin. And you could go around adjusting all of these individually and then going back to OBS and make a recording of you speaking into the mic to see how it sounds. However, there's actually a better way of doing this. And let's go ahead and do that right now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually close this interface plugin and we're going to copy this filter and we're gonna apply the filter to the video audio. And that will allow us to continually listen to the audio while we're making changes with the filter. One thing to note when you're recording this clip is try to talk as much as possible with no spaces. Just keep run on sentences, keep going, keep going, keep going. Just continue to make things up so that when you're editing the EQ during the filter settings that you don't have to wait for gaps. You can just always hear what's going on and it doesn't matter. Like, I just gotta make something up. I'm just like continuously talking for the sake of talking and you'll thank me later because what's more annoying than anything is all the pauses and all the breaks and having to wait and you're like come on I just want to make adjustment and you're not yours there, there's a pause and you don't want the pause so if you do anything like me right now I'm just continuously talking like I can't stop and I'm done <laughs> 
So go ahead and start a recording and then stop the recording. All right, once we got that video recorded, we wanna bring in a new media source and create a new media source and we're gonna browse and select that media source that we want to use. Uh, I'm not going to bring it in just because I'm going to be talking while we're doing this filter. So, but this is just to help you while you're making your own edits so that you have somebody talking while making your own edits. I'm going to go ahead and cancel, but we would bring in this media source and it would be right here. And we would just basically go to filters and we're going to paste the audio filters right there. So you can see how the VST plugin that's being used is the Marvel GEQ on the media source itself. Once we make the changes to this media source, and reminder, this media source was pre any EQ. Once we make the changes, we can just copy this EQ over to our mic. And this is a really nice tip because it saves you some time with having to like make some settings, record, come back, make some settings, record and review. It just it's, makes it so much easier to do it this way. Next, we're gonna open the plugin interface. So now what we're gonna be doing is we're going to edit the EQ to what sounds good to us. There's a lot of information online on what are good EQ settings. And really this is dependable on each person's voice. My settings aren't necessarily gonna be good for you. And this is why the video that you're editing, the video with your voice, not mine. You can try to find out like what's going on and whether or not it sounds good. What I've recommend is pulling up some guides on generally EQ settings. And if I have a video, I'll go ahead and link it now. What I found is I wanted to mostly lower the range of three to 500. I mean, really it couldn't be also 200 to 500, but if your mic is sound sounding a bit muddy, lowering these down, like going into the negative is preferable. Once we got all those settings done, let's make sure to save them. With this plugin, we're gonna click on presets. We're gonna create our own new session bank and I'm just gonna label it test for today. And then I'm going to hit the plus over here and default is fine. So if you wanna make changes, you can now go back to the settings that you felt were right the first time. And you can make as many presets as you want. Now we're gonna go ahead and close that. And now that we're done, make sure to close the plug in interface right here and that's how you open and close. While your video is recording, you can also see what it's done by hitting the eyeball by the EQ. So this is what my voice sounds like without an EQ. And this is what my voice sounds like with the EQ. Now that we have our EQ, we need to move it from our video file over to our mic. So go ahead and copy this and go ahead and close and then on the mic right click hit filters and then we're going to paste just like that if you use any noise suppression noise gate compressor or limiter make sure you put the eq in the proper chain of events uh, for me that's noise suppression first because i don't need to eq the audio that i'm cutting out and then it's noise gate, and then I'm actually applying the EQ to the leftover sound. But once I apply the EQ, I wanna make sure I compress it, and then I put a limiter on it because I just wanna make sure my volume doesn't go really high when I'm streaming. And we're done. That's it. Let me know what you think, and if you went through these steps to apply this EQ for your mic. Uh, I'd be really interested to hear uh, how your experience went and whether or not you like the results. Have you found a better EQ for Mac? Let us know in the comments so we can check it out. And if you found this video helpful at all, please like and subscribe. I'm covering mindfulness and gaming, Mac streaming tips, and design tips. Or drop by Twitch and ask me about the video or hang out. Thanks again for watching and may you have mindfulness in your actions. Yeah, I don't like it. I don't like the dog squealing thing. Seems like you're being mean to animals, right? I think that it can kind of teach you things, right? Like, 
maybe you think that feels good. Um, or maybe you don't even know, but maybe you find out, like, that's 